what is precision medicine? To understand precision medicine, let's first take a look at three eras of medicine. The first era, which we can call intuitive medicine, took place between the early 1950s and the early 1980s. In the era of intuitive medicine, practitioners were trained to identify common symptoms and would prescribe a general therapy for recovery. However, this was typically done without truly understanding the disease. We didn't understand exactly why those symptoms occurred. And although we knew the therapy was generally effective, we typically did not understand in any detail why it worked. As intuitive medicine gave way, it was replaced by the era of evidence-based medicine. Science was now being fully integrated into treatments and therapies. Most importantly of all, this era gave birth to randomized controlled clinical trials. Imagine we want to test a new therapy to treat a disease. Evidence-based medicine tells us that to test whether the new treatment works or not, we'll use a randomized controlled clinical trial. We welcome 25 test subjects to be part of our randomized test group and find 18 of our subjects get better. In evidence-based medicine, these results would be considered a success. But what about the patients who did not get better? This is where precision medicine comes in. Precision medicine is an evolution in thinking. It is understanding how factors like your family history, your genetics, your diet, and your lifestyle affect each individual and culminate in a specific disease. The promise of precision medicine is the ability to precisely diagnose an individual. Ideally, we will understand exactly what biochemical or physiological process caused the issue. And with this knowledge, we will be able to precisely match a therapy that we know will work. Precision medicine is particularly important today in conditions like cancer, heart defects, and genetic diseases. Once we understand how your genetic code interacts with your environment, we will not only be better able to treat your illness, we will also be in a position to prevent you from becoming ill in the first place. Prevention is always better than treatment. Let's talk about one example of precision medicine, the advancement of clinical genomics. This includes the ability to sequence the entire genetic sequence of a single individual. Innovations in analyzing this information and new tools that help us with the mass amounts of data contained within your genome. Now let's see precision medicine in action. Madden is a young boy who was admitted to the Alberta Children's Hospital due to serious problems with his immune system. Madden suffered from head to toe eczema, was losing weight because he was unable to properly digest his food, and was developing life-threatening infections. With Madden's future at stake, his physicians worked together with the Alberta Children's Hospital Research Institute to analyze his unique genetic makeup they sequenced nearly 5,000 of Madden's genes. Within days, they found a single letter changed within his genome and diagnosed him with a condition called IPEX syndrome. IPEX syndrome is a rare disease. Affected children die unless they receive a bone marrow transplant. The transplant replaces Madden's genetically damaged immune system with one from a healthy donor. Madden now has a rebuilt immune system that is starting to heal his body, all thanks to his team of physicians and researchers who came together and used precision medicine to understand exactly why he had become ill. The goal of precision medicine is to enable clinicians to quickly, efficiently, and accurately predict the most appropriate course of action for patients. Precision medicine is the future of health. Learn how you can help advance precision medicine at the Cumming School of Medicine by visiting cumming.ucalgary.ca.